9mm Ammo Quest is back, where we're looking for the best performing ammo, self-defense ammo, from a 3-inch barrel pocket pistol. And today's candidate, man, you guys have asked for this for a long time, Golden Sabres. I picked some up a while ago. I just haven't gotten around to doing the test, but now I'm getting around to doing the test. I'm going to test actually two different types of Golden Sabres. These are the original... Uh, they're not the plus P, they're not bonded. These are the originals in 124 grain and 147 grain. I'm going to test both of those today. And we're going to find out how the Golden Sabre does. Golden Sabre's got a great reputation. They've been around a long time. They've been used in law enforcement. Um, that doesn't necessarily translate into pocket pistol <laughs> acceptable usage because law enforcement generally doesn't use pocket pistols. So we're going to find how the Golden Sabres do from this pocket pistol and we're going to use professional ballistic gelatin to test it in this is this is the industry standard this is the real stuff this is no homemade batch of jello gelatin or knocks or any of that nonsense this is actual professional vice ballistic gelatin same stuff the fbi uses for their testing and i've got four layers of heavy denim we're going to test with and without the heavy denim i'm going to find out the venerable golden saber how does it perform in today's pocket pistol I shot three bullets through the denim, and once I saw the performance of those three, there was really no reason to continue with the denim testing, so I just shot another couple into the bear gel just to finish off the block and give us an idea of, of how it was going to perform. But in the denim, look, we can see that the first bullet stopped at 19 and a quarter inches, which is already over penetration, but the bad part is that it's only a little central core of the bullet we had complete jacket separation so the jacket stopped at 12 and three quarter inches and the bullet itself went on to 19 and a quarter you know what that's a failure of a bullet but still in a defensive situation um hey the jacket made a big wound at 12 and three quarters and it did over penetrate a little in that case so far from ideal but it's like you know that might still be a decent hit but the second bullet went to 16 and a half inches and the jacket stopped at 14 and a quarter. Again, it's a failure of the bullet. I, I don't like the idea of recommending that you use a bullet that is proven to fail. E even if the results ended up being pretty good, it, it's not what the bullet's designed to do. This jacket separation is not a positive thing, even though it, where it ended up was actually pretty decent. And part of the problem we see with the third bullet, which went all the way to 23 inches. The parallax doesn't really show it here. It looks like 22 and a half, but it's 23 when you actually put the ruler right up against it and measure it with the camera square onto it. So the bullet ended up at 23 inches and the jacket at 14 and three quarters. So significant over penetration, all three jackets separated. So not, not a good performance. And here are the two golden sabers fired through the bear gel. Really great distance, one at 13 and a half inches and one at 13 and three quarters. If they were all like that, you know, I'd love them, but those denim results are just not satisfactory. Yeah, not all that good. I actually terminated the test after seeing how the results were going. I mean, first of all, this is a piece of jacket that just fell off. Uh, I don't know exactly which bullet it goes to. I'll figure that out when I dissect the block, but it just fell off between the, the main block and the backer block, and that's not a good sign. So I first shot through the denim, and I took three shots and then evaluated to see how it turned out. I had one of them stop at 16 inches, which is you know, excellent penetration. One of them went to 19 and a quarter, which is a little bit of over penetration, not a big red flag, but it's a yellow flag. And then we had one that went all the way to 21 and three quarters. After the three denim bullets, I fired two in the bear just so we had, you know, a sample of what they do. And those did great. One of them stopped at 14 inches and one of them stopped at 16 inches. So, yeah, we'll look at the bullets now, but uh, not thrilled. The 147 grain golden sabers in review uh two very different stories the bear gel bullets are really very good they penetrated perfectly they expanded fully they've got these nasty sharp talons on here so it especially if, if a bullet like this tumbled it would be very destructive so I like the bear performance. The denim performance is, is pretty much an example of exactly why bullet design changed. This is pretty much exactly what you don't want to see. Complete jacket core separation. 
on two of the three and a complete failure to expand on the third one. So denim performance was dismal. Bear performance was great. Overall, you know, that's the thing with this. Uh, I could say utter disaster, total failure. However, if someone was shot with this, uh, it would hurt because these were great performers. And even though these didn't do well, they didn't perform the way a bullet is well, modern bullets are designed to perform. Still, these jackets went deep and lodged deep, and these did penetrate enough. So, it's not ideal performance. And, and in the ammo quest, I'm looking for the best performers from these three-inch barrels. This is not one of the best performers. However, it I don't think it would let you down. If you had had to employ this in a defensive encounter, at least they didn't underpenetrate. And even though they did separate, uh, even the jacket parts got deep enough that you know, it, it would have, if your shot placement was good, it would have been a potentially uh, incapacitating hit. So, it, mediocre results overall definitely would have been effective depending on your shot placement. However, uh, there's definitely ammo out there that performs better than these. This one looks like it's getting close to jacket core separation but it didn't it stayed together it expanded big did well this one is perfect for a golden saber these two penetrated perfectly through bear gel golden saber is a great round through the denim it just isn't the golden saber just doesn't meet the standards that modern ammo is, is designed to meet at least in the non-bonded version i'll have to test the bonded version to see if it does better than this okay wrap up on the golden sabers you know, I've been trying to think of something good to say about them, and I just don't have anything to say about the concept of using a Golden Saber in a 3-inch barrel pistol, at least the original Golden Sabers. Maybe they're better from a longer gun. I can't say to that because I didn't test them for that, but I did test from the 3-inch. And, you know, bolts are coming, coming apart. They're over-penetrating. They're partially expanding. Um... It's not like they're going to bounce off of somebody. If you have golden sabers and you did have to shoot them at somebody, they, they would hit. But there is much better performing ammo from the 3-inch barrel pistol out there. Now, I will revisit the golden sabers when I get my hands on some of the bonded ones. Maybe those will improve the situation because we had, you know, complete core jacket separation on these, on these non-bonded ones. And that's not a good sign. So maybe the bonded ones will be a lot better. But my advice for now, skip the regular Golden Sabers. They're not going to do anything for you that another better round wouldn't do far superior. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified the next time a video is posted.